episode four, Holding the King, George hidden struggles and extreme measures he's undertaken for a chance of future happiness with Charlotte finally come to light. Let's see. Aww. If your majesty prefers to retire, Mr. Reynolds and I are perfect. Am I not permitted to wash the king? It is just not usual. I was coursing with the sky. Is that usual? No, your majesty, the king has not been himself lately. What is this? It's a strong will. Mind of his own. Cut his own trail, Melanie. It was nothing better than driving a plow. People prefer a royal baby or cheap bread. Right now, they have neither. He's on a ship. A ship? Now? Bound for London. The betrothal contracts are signed. It is done. Impossible. Withdraw. Withdraw! It's imperfect. Not only the bollocks now. Lost. Regulus lost. Bollocks lost. Regulus lost. And <laughs> Continue, sir. Unlike my esteemed colleagues, my methods do not require bleeding the patient or oh my stinging God. him with poison beetles or bruising his legs with tourniquets. Aye. What do they involve then? Wait. Remember yourself. You are the king of England. to marry in a week. Are you fit to marry, George? Okay, so this is all before they met. <clears throat> there is a problem. What have you done now, Brinson? Bright is missing. No bride, no wedding. If your bride is missing, it is your responsibility to remedy that. Probably for the best. It was uh, premature, all this. I'm not ready, not right. I have examined you thoroughly and you are perfectly right. You are perfectly right. <laughs> what the hell? Wait, no. It is right. So it's like a mental thing. So he knew. Not Beyonce! This is smart. That was Deja Vu by Beyonce. She's terrifyingly clever, that is the problem. If she were ugly, if she were dull, I might fill myself up to the task. Instead, her brilliance shows the, shows the troll I am. Will your majesty not be returning to Buckingham House? I have done as they asked. I married. Now I shall leave her alone, safe from me. She'll return to my planets, my stars. They at least I can be sure not to harm. Dang. He was ashamed of himself. Yes, your majesty. Ready the carriage. We are going to see my husband. The Queen is coming. What? Why was I not informed? No one was informed, Your Majesty. She just appeared. Good God. She is at the bridge. She will be here any moment. Where is he? Your Majesty, we were not expecting. Where is he? I do not want to fight. I want to fight with you. Fight with me. Fight for me. Go home, Charlotte. That was him projecting. Extreme measures. Anything. Whatever you have to do, we have the time and privacy of my honeymoon. Wait, what? As such, you are used to the obedience of others. We require solitude, you are dismissed. You are used to splendor, luxury, comfort. 
You have never known the salubrious powers of Scott. Oh! For reason. Oh my god. If you cannot govern yourself, you are not fit to govern others. Okay. Just like an animal! I will break you! Not content to steal chickens and cattle, they ran off with children, the old. <laughs> Again. You ask he pleases. His Majesty could be with her right now. I can't take a risk. Especially with a woman so unpredictable. So capricious. Could you believe her the other night? Abandoning her honeymoon chambers in violation of all custom and decorum, not to mention my direct order, bursting in unannounced on the king, why well, she is almost as mad as I am. Or maybe a perfect match. What do you think? I think we cannot know until His Majesty spends more time with her. Ooh. No, he's not. He's not. He's cute. I think he's very good looking. She is mad. I believe. She She called this a deformed bunny. Ah! <laughs> have his bits healed then? His bits are fine, I've told you. You have. I spoke out of turn, I offer my apologies. Accepted. Colour on his wine rings. I shall let the kitchen know, Your Majesty. Mm. Hello, Charlotte. Hello? Charlotte! Charlotte, if you'll just give me a chance to. Charlotte, stop walking this instant! I might not make you forgive me, but it might make you hate me a little bit less. Your Majesty? Not now, Doctor, I'm busy moving. Moving to the Buckingham House without consulting me. You are breathtaking. I did. You told me to charm her to make it easier for the crown. I have done my best. You told me I could not let her know me because I must protect the secrets of the crown. I have not. You're not well. Was that not up to your standard? The crown must be examined on coronation day. Free range of most capricious urges. Ice. So does she. And she is the most royal person I have ever known. Aww. Excuse me, Doctor. I have a party to attend. Again, you are no longer my doctor. No. Oh. Pity. Nevertheless, I remain the Queen's. Yes. I'm preparing this poultice for her now. Well, but to your majesty, she came to me. Heard that the king's doctor was here and apparently figured that she should not settle for anything less. But why would she need a doctor? Well, because obviously she is with child. For England. What the frick? Reynolds, my carriage! Grimsley, stop! Can he 
nothing to stop the cracking. You would engage hideous doctors under a thousand disgusting treatments. Scrub me back. 